Good morning, everybody. It is Saturday noonish here, and I went out and hit some garage sales this morning. Sorry, check out my teeth, and it, you got to keep it real, right? I forgot to check my teeth before we started. So yeah, I hit some garage sales this morning and went out yesterday morning with the guys, and so I brought a few things to share with you guys. And I actually did, hang on, let me scoot this a little bit. There's going to be some light. The sun is chasing me, so I'm trying to, how's the stream? It's like, it's like stopping on me every now and then. I keep scooting back. Okay, we're going to get this, we're going to get this working one way or the other. I wanted to do the haul outside because it's nice. And Randy's moving furniture inside. So, yeah. Hello. How's everybody doing? Uh, hey, Charlotte and Amy. Hey, Miss Twiggy. How's it going? So, I went out yesterday morning with the boys. Yesterday was Friday, and there were lots of garage sales. I really like going out on Fridays because then when I go Saturday, I already know, you know, which ones I've hit, which ones, you know. Anyway, so I thought I would share with you what I got. And I know I'm moving so I get comments like, wait, I thought you were stressed and you're moving and why are you buying more stuff? But most of it is jewelry. So I'm going to keep, that's one thing I'm going to keep buying. Okay. So let's start with the not jewelry so I can just make a hypocrite of myself right off the bat. <laughs> but um, there are just some things that I picked up. So I picked up, I went to a, like a school type garage sale today. I spent $10 there. This is one of the things I got. This is a Sony, like a voice recorder. And I, I looked it up and I think there were some selling new like this for about 40 bucks. So I probably paid about a dollar for this. Let's see. Uh oh, stream looks good. Okay, good, good, good. Uh, yeah. So I picked this up. I've actually bought two of these for my boys because they're always, you know, telling stories and they have got, and I just haven't taken theirs out of the packaging yet. So anyway, too late. I already bought theirs. So I got that. Hello, everybody. Hi in the chat. I'm so glad you guys could make it. Then I got this. This is a classic football, too. So this one also, there were some that were listed for crazy high prices. There were some listed for over 100 bucks, But then the, there were solds of this for like 40 or 50 60 And it's working. It's making beepy noise. That bird just started singing really loudly. Whatever, bird. Okay, so there's this. Again, cool vintage item. Now, yesterday, I also, I don't have it out here, but I picked up a couple board games that I thought were no-brainers. They were a quarter, so I was like, oh, yeah, these are no-brainers. I'm going to pick them up. Even though I'm not really selling bigs anymore, I picked up an E.T. board game for a quarter, thinking, oh, yeah, this is, this is going to be money right here. Well, I looked it up and they're only selling for like 10 or 15 bucks. So that was not a uh, money right there. And then I also picked up a Pac-Man card game, which was a vintage like 80s. That, that... Why, bird? Why? Can you hear that? Is it just distracting me only? Just me, Brandy says. So again, I thought, you know, this Pac-Man card game, because it was from the 80s, you know, around when I was younger and thought it was going to be, you know, for a quarter. Sure. Um, no, it also was not. Uh, so yeah, those I'm having a garage sale next weekend. So I figure for a quarter, they'll just go right into my garage sale and somebody else will be like, whoa, cool. Right. Yeah. <laughs> the bird loves me. It's speaking to me. Alexandria says, Jenny says board games are off my must buy list. Yeah, I hear you. And I just know better. And I, and today at this garage, sale, I picked up a couple more thinking same thing. Like one was like a vintage, Ninja Turtles, like pizza party game. And I was like, I am not making the same mistake twice. So I looked it up and it was again, 15 bucks maybe. And there was also a Batman game that looked vintage, but it was 50th anniversary. So it was not, you love the sound of the birds. Okay, good, good, good. I'm going to put my feet up down here. Okay. So those were, I'm trying, I'm trying to get comfy. You guys, that's the name of the game. Only I'm really squished in here. So I can't get my leg under the table. There we go. <sighs> now we can relax. Okay, <laughs> let's do the rest of this haul. So another cool vintage thing that I got that's not jewelry that I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you, is a Trapper Keeper. This Trapper Keeper, um, turns out it's really well-loved. 
But this Trapper Keeper right here, I looked it up, and there were some. Now, I don't think mine is going to sell for this much. There was one that sold in April this year for $50. It was it $49.99? dollars 49 Trapper Keeper. So, and then there were others. Good golly, that bird is going after it, whatever. <laughs> so, um, but then I saw some that were sold for a little bit less. Am I on Jaybird's tree? <laughs> so, but the reason mine, mine is, you know, the edges are really kind of worn, you see. And then also I noticed that one of the prongs is missing off of that. But I figured I may try to sell it anyway because somebody might just be, they don't really care about that. They just want the, the look and they don't want to spend $50. Maybe they'll spend $25. I don't know. Anyway, we'll see how that goes. So that I figured, okay, Trapper Keeper, Vintage Trapper Keepers, that's something to pick up. Check them out though. I'm looking behind me to see what else I've got here. Okay, a couple other non non jewelry things. Um, I know, right? I see that face. And it probably is a face. You know what it is? It's this little arm. There's, okay, I'll turn my thing around so you can see. It's a stone statue, and it's a little girl holding a basket of fish. I don't know. I'll turn it so you can see who it is. So you're not freaked out. So you see those, can you see those two little... There's a little girl and a little boy, a little girls in the sunshine. She's got a bonnet or a headscarf on, and there's a little boy. Those, those have been in my grandmother's garden since ever, and she named them after my brother and I. So me, my brother. She named it after my brother and me. Um, so, yeah, those will be coming with us when we move. <laughs> so, yeah, that's her arm. Anyway, squirrels. So another thing that I picked up that was not jewelry related, these were a buck a piece. This is a really nice little, I guess you hang it from the, your belt. It's leather and I don't know. I just really like quality leather items. So, and they tend to sell. So I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure what I'll sell this for or if I'll sell it or if it ends up being, my sons are turning, they're, they're, since we started homeschooling, they're, they're explorer their little explorer nesses have just turned back on inside, you know? And so I, I could see one of them you know, like strapping this to their belt and putting who knows what in there or taking it down to the stream. And this can be their pouch to store their little rocks in that they find, you know, along, you know, along the stream as they're exploring. So that may end up being something that they, that they latch on to. I kind of hope they do. So <laughs> there's that. Hi guys. Hey everybody. So there's that. That was a dollar. Um, this was also, this was, <laughs> this is 50 cents. And I've seen this brand or not this brand, but this designer um, in Kino, Kino Kunia. This is a Japanese bookstore. Uh, but this is actually from an Ipsy. I, I don't do Ipsy anymore, but this is like a makeup thing where they send makeup out to you. But last box the back. Ready? So it's like a little sad egg, right? Here we go. <laughs> Here's the bag. <laughs> anyway, um, I my makeup bag is falling apart, so I actually got this for me. So that was like, what are they? It was like a quarter. It was really cheap. Okay, so then <clears throat> also I picked up. I'm gonna come back to the chat in a second. This wallet was there too, and it was a dollar. I got it with this other one. So <laughs> it's kind of bad. It's kind of funny. But it's definitely vintage. So it says, or it reads rather, Coon Hunters do it all do it all night. So he's a, you know, coon hunter. All right, y'all, he's from the backwoods where they go hunting coon, right? So there we go. But it's so old that there's a little slip of paper inside, you can tell, where you would have to write your social security number and all that on your identification card. So... Randy's like, show it, but I don't want you to sell it. <laughs> I'm like, what am I doing if I'm not trying here to make money? But I think Randy may have claimed this. Coon Hunters do it on my wallet. <laughs> so there's that. Um, so yeah, Destry says, my son wants a leather, ba leather bag like Indiana Jones. He's 14 and still enjoys. Oh, yeah. mine. We just showed him Indiana Jones, my older one. Mikey was still a little bit scared, but hunting with coon dogs is the politically correct way to describe that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, I, I know it's bad. I know, but I, 
couldn't leave it behind. Anyway, um, yeah, my son lo loves Indiana Jones, and he actually got a gun from, um, I guess it was Universal Studios. He got it at a garage sale, but I guess there used to be an Indiana Jones ride, and somebody had gone, and then they were selling the gun in their garage sale. Well, the ride is no more, and they don't make this gun. I found a picture of it like online but i couldn't find it being sold but he's not selling it but it's like a you know kind of indiana jones gun i don't know anyway my boys play toy guns so yeah. okay hey 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 okay so pretty much that's it there was a couple other non-jewelry bits you know i always pick up rocks so i got this little geode for these little bits for a dollar because i do i can't i don't know everybody has something they just can't leave behind right and I'm not selling them, you know, but okay. So tell me if you're here in the chat or if you are watching later, what is something when you go to a garage sale, even though, you know, you're probably never going to sell it, you see it and you're just like, I can't leave it behind. Like me, it's like rocks and fossils. I, I just have to take them with me. Okay. You're coming with me. Rocks and fossils. I don't need any more because I've got lots. They came with me. <laughs> they just did. Okay. Your son would love, I know, uh, if he, if James comes back out, I'll have him go get it and show you. Um, but they went inside, I think, to watch TV. And then I got this makeup bag, but this is going to be for me, too. It's just a nice little zippy makeup bag. Right now, it's full of jewelry, which is what we're going to go to next. Um, isn't that pretty, that blue? Okay, so uh, I will try my best. Oh, oh, there's one other non-jewelry thing that I got. And you can tell me what you think if you would have bought this. I... Like one of my splurges is makeup and lipstick and Chanel makes lipstick. Uh, anyway, and it's about 35, 40 bucks for a lipstick. And that's one of the things that Randy has been okay. Cause he's like, okay, it, it lasts forever. Right? Like, yeah, it lasts forever. Well, at this garage sale this morning, this lady had this Chanel lipstick and it was barely, barely, barely used. And you could still see the Chanel. I cleaned it. That was me cleaning it. So I cleaned it so I could wear it. And I was like, it was 10 cents. Okay. I bought this Chanel lipstick for 10 cents. Ta-da. And it's the color Dimitri. So, and that's what I'm wearing right now. So, so far my lips haven't fallen off, fall, fall off. My lips haven't fallen off. I'll let you know later if I get hepatitis um, or whatever you get from lipstick. But if you think about it, I mean, when you go to the department store or Sephora or whatever, and you want to try samples of whatever lipstick, um, you know, you try it on your hand, but if you really want to see if it looks good, you try it on your face. And they have the thing where you can clean it off and all the stuff, right? So don't judge me. Or if I get whatever you get from using used lipstick, judge me <laughs> and say, I told you so. <laughs> right? Okay. Hey, hey, how's it going? Okay, so how's it, how's it going, Treasure Pirate? <laughs> all right, so next, <laughs> I'll let you know, Dan. I'll be on the news. <laughs> then I'll finally have made it. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, first up, I picked up this bracelet with these silvery beads and horses. It's got little ones that hang down. And I, again, um, I didn't have my magnet or loop or anything with me. And as a matter of fact, not only did I not, I don't, I still don't have a magnet with me because I took all the magnets off of my refrigerator. So I had like two that I randomly found in a drawer to try, even though I know they're not strong enough. Here's my new, this one came in my new loot crate, my Firefly loot crate. Let's see if it sticks. Uh, <laughs> this is just not going to work. I, I don't think, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, so there's that <laughs> with the little horses. I might have to restring it. It's on this stretchy stuff, so I might have to, to restring it. Isn't it pretty? So there's that one. Let's set that to the side. Also, let me grab the ones. I'm trying to figure out which order I want to do these in. I didn't have my loop, so some of this stuff I'm going to have to peek at while we're here um, talking. <laughs> Hello, Teresa. Carissa, Teresa. Ah, yeah, no. There's no R. There is an R. Okay. Moving forward. <laughs> okay, this one I got today. This is a Timex and it's an Iron Man watch. It still is working and everything. Um, and I want to say, because everything I bought at that, it's the one where I got the Trapper Keeper and everything. I spent 10 bucks there. So we'll say maybe a dollar. 
on this one and I I didn't look everything up so but I figured it was working this is a brand that my husband gets he gets the Timex Iron Man watches that he likes to wear and I think he's got two of them because he'll misplace it and that he likes it so much he'll go and get another one so there's that then this bracelet <clears throat> I got for a dollar and the brand on it let me look at it again because there's another piece that I got that has the same brand uh, was called Bars B A R S E. So if you get a chance to look it up, it's a brand that sells silver and turquoise and jewelry and stuff like that. Old Casio watches can sell for a lot too. Dan says, "Oh, thank you, cool." That magnet is so discreet, right? Um, excuse me, I feel like Pee Wee, right? Uh, I need to check my <laughs> magnet on that. So I I'm gonna have to check out solds and things on eBay, but I thought it was pretty. Um, again, there's the mark in there. I couldn't read it, but I saw the mark, so I thought, okay, for a dollar, I'll uh, I'll pick it up. Oh, was somebody else streaming? Were y'all in a live stream somewhere else? Um, <laughs> hey Lex, that's a name I haven't recognized. I haven't recognized. I haven't seen before. I don't think. So hello, hello. Oh, vintage hats. That's something you couldn't leave behind. Oh, I forgot to see what else everyone said about that. I'm looking back again in the chat because I did ask a question. Uh -huh. uh, left to their own devices, kids can be very creative. That's why it's cool. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Dana. Um, they really have. They just started blooming again. Okay, so here's another item that I picked up today because I couldn't leave it behind uh, because it's weird. And it's, is it an ornament? So this is the chain it's on. And this is a fish. Do you see a fish? I think it's a fish. I think it's a fish, right? Because then there's a little fish down here. There's a star. There's a fish. There's a swirly thing. And I think it's some kind of ornament. Would you put it in your car or hang it from a piece of furniture? Or maybe you hang it from a light fixture? I don't know, but I thought it was so weird that you think it's a pendant piece. I mean, we could totally, we could make that happen. Put it on a, a necklace and that could be a pendant. I had one of those. It's a rear view mirror ornament, card jewelry. Oh, okay. There we go. Card jewelry. So that is that. And originally it said it was $7.95, but I got it for about a dollar. There we go. There's that. Then, for all my friends who like cocktail rings, would you consider this a cocktail ring? <laughs> Look at it. This, uh, and I got it for whoever. I mean, I bought it because so many of my friends that are in jewelry lovers and sellers love cocktail rings. And so I saw this at this garage sale for a dollar. I was like, whoa. And it, it's even pretty, pretty good shape on the back. You know, sometimes it starts getting the finish rub, rubs off on the back. So it's still in pretty nice shape. It is ginormous. Oh, my darling, do tell. I don't know what else she would say. What else she would, she would, she would have to have her hair up like in the French bun. Oh, darling, do tell. What are we having for brunch? An aperitif, please. May I please have an aperitif? Apparently she talks really weird, too. Isn't it huge? Yes. And she would need big, ginormous matching earrings, too. I need an aperitif. And then there. You must not make fun of my voice. This is just the way we talk. Anyway, okay. <laughs> I don't know what this will sell for, but I thought it was really cool. And that's the inside of it, like so. <laughs> There's no name or maker or anything like that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so uh, I also picked up for $4 a bag full of little... The character that wears that ring needs a name. Okay, here we go. We have to have a name. Um, <laughs> I, uh, I gotta think of a name now. Oh, darn. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I'll think of another name. I'll think of a name. It's coming to me. It's It's coming to me. All right, so I got these um, because I saw some that were silver in there. So I just have to go through and see. There may be some bits that are gold. I don't know. There's some that are golden color. 
so I'll have to peek closer at them. Um, <laughs> Pen Penelope von Schnitzerwitzel. <laughs> Hello, I'm here. I have an RSVP for for one. I have an RSVP for one for Penelope von Schnitzerwitzel. No, that's that's with a C. A Schnitzerwitzel with no, with the C. <laughs> Penelope von Schnitzerwitzel with a C. <laughs> Okay, there. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, I'll have to look through those. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, so I was going to pull one of them out, but I was like, well, let's just see if this one. Okay, oh, I had looked at this one before. So this one was, you know, it's golden color, but it's marked 925 on the back. So it's plated or something. Anyway. So I'll go through those a little bit later, just to poke through and see. Do you have any other treasures? Perfect. And then I put one schnitzel witzel. Schnit, not schnitzel. We another schnitzel, 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 schnitzel witzel, schnitzel witzel. <laughs> not the hyphenated. <laughs> it's not hyphenated. <laughs> But this is the problem when I make up characters that go with rings or jewelry. I can't sell them. <laughs> That's the problem. <laughs> it's like naming it and they're like naming a wild animal you're taking care of, <laughs> then you can't sell it. Okay, so then I got these earrings. There were two pairs of earrings in this bag for two dollars, so it was basically a dollar for the earrings, and. They are marked, again, that same brand, Bars, like that this one was. Let's see, Bars, Thailand. Oh, that's upside down. So I'm going to have to do a little more research on that brand, Bars. <laughs> Lola the Lounge. <Lounge. laughs> and then these earrings, which I'm going to have to fix because I think they're awesome. So this one is is normal, not broken, rather. And it looks like this. Isn't that pretty? I just thought it was so pretty. Hello. Invite Penelope to homeschool with a C once a week. Penelope. <laughs> okay, so then this one, this part is kind of broken, so I'll have to fix it. But it looks like this. And I didn't see any kind of maker's mark on it, but I'll have to peek over it again. I just thought they were really pretty. Let me hold it up again. Hey, Adam, how are you? <laughs> of course, ads, you would come in when I'm making up silly voices and acting silly. You don't know anything about acting silly. <laughs> Hi, Tammy Davis. First time catching me live. Hey, hey. <laughs> Adam, did you did you miss Penelope von Schnitzelwitzel? <laughs> Schnitz, Schnitzelwitzel. Anyway. Yes, I know, Dave. I have been shopping again. Okay, so... <laughs> These ones, if I fix them, I'm tempted to keep them. That's the thing. Like, I think they would look really pretty. Okay, I'm going to look because I think I see a stamp. But I should not know. Uh, no, no stamp. Okay. Anyway, pretty cool. <clears throat> so there's that. Those were two bucks. Those, both of those. Hello, hello. We're getting more friends jumping in. <laughs> <laughs> and then next up, this bag of earrings was $3. And there are some cute ones in here, which I think are silver. So let me dump them. So there's these cool earrings. I couldn't find a mark on them. But again, I'm, I'm not going to pull out that crazy magnet. They might be silver. They look like that. Um, then there are these that are Liz Claiborne. This is a mark we see a lot in the group. LC, that's Liz Claiborne. People ask, what's this mark? Liz, Claiborne. Then these little drop ones were in there. Those are not the, here's another pair that are cool. Which I'm going to have to, again, <laughs> keep, you keep everything. I know. But this is how I get my stuff. All right, so these earrings, again, really cute. Kind of a filigree heart. And I, I don't know if they're silver or not. These are the ones I thought might be, but now I'm not so sure. So there's those, and then there's another pair in here. They're kind of tangled. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get them. I'm trying to get them. 
Aha, like so. Aren't they pretty? Hang on, put those down so I can see. There we go. Dave, you're not my husband. <laughs> Fussing at me for keeping everything. <laughs> um, I'm outside. I'm in my, my patio in Houston. Okay, so those, all of those earrings were $3. I will easily make my money back on those. Um, <laughs> hang on, let me put these over because I might need this magnet again. Okay. Get, get, get. Okay, so let me show you what else I got. How are you doing? You, know, you sure? Okay. All right. Uh, <laughs> okay, so then I got, this was $2. And one of the necklaces in here for sure is silver. This is it. <laughs> Penelope is keeping that. Oh, that's right. It's Penelope keeping it. If you miss Penelope, you'll just have to rewind. There's only so much people can take of Penelope. This one has bonus hair. You don't have to have a jewelry jar to get bonus hair, apparently. So here is this really tarnished. And that's the crystally crystals probably there and I'm gonna look closer because there's a mark in there there's a few marks so I'm looking like this because the glare is hitting the screen this says China 925 CZ and then there's a symbol so I'll have to double check it China 925 CZ something something all right there's that and then this other necklace that was in here which now where did I put it where did it go? Listen to that bird. Oh my goodness. Where did it go? Am I losing it? Oh, there it is. Ha ha. Bonus hair again. It's grody. Grody to the max for sure. Okay, so this one had a really fine like gold chain. And this is the pendant on it. And I was looking at I was looking at the pendant in the cart. Oh, you can see it better here. Where it's kind of got, you can see all the colors in it, like blues and purples and stuff. Um, but I didn't, again, have a magnet or any way to. Okay, so that part is magnetic. How about the chain? The chain. The chain is not magnetic. Don't judge, okay? I'm packing and I couldn't find another magnet. This was it. <laughs> this was it. If you're just coming in, I have a little one too. <laughs> So the chain is not magnetic. Now, the thing about the the clasp being magnetic, sometimes the spring inside could be magnetic. Um, and then I was going to take a peek and see if I see any marks. Just because it was so pretty and it looked so nice. But I I mean, the chances of it being something. I was hoping maybe it would be like Swarovski or something like that. But I don't see any marks. But still. Yeah. I mean, I didn't see any marks or anything, but I still think it's really pretty. And the chain looked really nice. So I might still take a peek at it later again when I have more tools, more and better tools. Did someone say bonus here? Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, cubic zirconia. Okay. I'm, sorry, I'm trying to adjust because the sun is starting to peek around over the house it's getting on the screen. Uh, whenever I buy a mystery bag of jewelry from the charity shop, all I get is plastic tat, but still buy them like this. Yeah. Sometimes it's not so good. Sometimes it's better. Um, if you watch Bonafide, he loves to show the hair on the buggy wheels at the thrift store. Oh, yeah. Um, okay. So next up. So this one was another one that I, that is from that same company, Farce. So this which I'm super tempted to keep. Again, $2. Don't judge. <laughs> but I love green turquoise, right? And so this has got this green, what I believe is green turquoise in there. Can y'all see that okay? Yeah. But check out the back. Here's the back of it. Isn't that a cool backing? So you can still see the stone through it. Um, but I just thought it was cool. Okay, so this is 925, and it says 925 tie, and it's that bars again, B-A-R-S-E. And I checked their website, and they have stuff that sells for anywhere from 50 bucks to 100 something bucks. So, isn't it beautiful? Yes. I have a piece of green turquoise that I bought from a seller on Etsy. It's a pretty, I haven't worn it in a long time, but this kind of reminds me of the same color. 
We'll see. But for two bucks, come on. Yes. Hi, Marge. How's it going? <laughs> hey, in the chat, everybody. Hey, 71 viewers. Hey, go over there and hit the thumbs up. And if you're a homeschooler and you're interested, I just I decided to change my homeschooling channel name because I'm going to try to do more with it. And so I changed it from home, Texas Gal Homeschools to homeschool, homeschool honey. <laughs> because I figure we are sucking the nectar out of life. Isn't that goofy? <laughs> but I thought it would be fun to change it. Yeah. So that's what I did. So maybe it would uh, motivate me to get over there and do more. Okay. So these are some earrings that I've also picked up. These were a dollar. And I have a pendant that matches these that I've had for a long time. Good golly. Don't you get tired, bird? Um, so there's those. <laughs> hey, Brandy. Now, they are marked on the back. I'm going to have to pull out the loop. One of them is marked, not both of them. Like so. Can you see? I'm trying to catch it in the light. Um, did you beekeeper? Oh, no. She didn't. But it's, I just thought of that. You're right. Well, hopefully she didn't want that name. <laughs> she's not home. Well, she's kind of homeschooling. Well, we'll just talk. Um, so it's got some numbers stamped on it and 925 and I can't make out what the other stuff is down there. So there's that. But I figured name that bird. <laughs> Maybe if I name it, it'll go away. <laughs> I name you Jebediah. Because you're annoying me right now. Not that I ever knew a Jebediah that annoyed me, but random. All right, this was $2. So, here. Okay, so this one's really pretty. It's got this pink stone in there, and it's got this gold tone coating on it. Just pretty, I thought, you know, for two bucks, I'd pick it up. This style is hot right now with the stones and all that. Do we get robins? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we get robins. And that might be... There's blue jays and cardinals are running around right now. Um, whatever that thing is. Blackbird sounding? Well, yeah, we get those two. Grackles. Those ones are louder, though. Okay. Where do you learn about stones? I'm still lost in jewelry. I love it, though. I just threw... I mean, some I knew from before, from my grandmother and my mom. And then some, it's just, you know, you pick it up one bit here, one bit there. And in the jewelry group, um, I haven't been doing my lessons because of everything that's going on right now, but we were doing like a monthly theme. So hopefully that'll get picked up pretty soon, as soon as we can get started again. I just can't right now. But but usually if you come across something, you know, just drop a, drop an image in there. Search a little bit first, you know, green stones in jewelry and then and then go ask. <laughs> yeah. Try to try the library, find a book on gems. That's a good source. Oh, yeah, Chandler. Yeah. Okay, so then there are these earrings that I also got. These were 50 cents. And gosh, it's hard to see. Okay, so there's that. Only one of them had a back. And I don't, I don't, I'm not 100% that they're silver. I don't really think so. But that's, uh, I mean, they're not magnetic. But I don't know that they're silver either. So uh, this is my magnet. Okay, for now. But I just thought for 50 cents, I would take the chance on them. Same deal with this one. This was a dollar. And this is an LC. This is another Liz Claiborne, but it's a different signature. You can see the L. It's like a cursive LC. And this is this necklace. So, cool. And then, oh, is that it? Or we, I have one more. I thought I had, oh, no, no, I have more in here. Don't worry. Don't fret. I've got more. These were 50 cents, and I didn't care if they were silver or not. They were awesome. So these ones were hammered triangles with these hoops that went through them. They have a bit of a gold, a little bit of a gold tone wash on it. I don't know if that comes across very well. Anyway, I just thought they were so cool. So that was 50 cents for those. And then I got a few other pieces here and there. So broken watches, because my son, you know, he's getting into watches. So there's this, that's a guess. And this one, I don't know. But this one is, it won't even turn. Like this little knob won't even turn. So that's for sure one that he gets to take apart. 
then this one, this is a fossil watch. And they were, this one I paid $4 for. She said it was still working, so we'll see. We'll see. But the others I paid maybe a buck or less. And then this one I paid a buck for. This is a little Timex. There. Like so. Again, I watches are something I'm learning. My son is really pushing me into it because he's getting into it. So then this was a dollar as well, which I thought, oh, this is perfect. If only I were listing jewelry right now. But but soon, soon. Right? Don't stop. <laughs> so this it's kind of got this like cruise cheeky. Like I could see somebody wearing taking this like cruise jewelry with all these aqua black colors and then this almost a surfboard look to it. I don't know. It was cool. So that was a dollar. Oh, it's got a oh it's Chico's. Okay. There are people that look for Chico's jewelry. Uh, and then I got this, I think this is a Napier. Yep, a Napier brooch, little heart, swirly swirly heart. Um okay. Then a couple more earrings. I got these oval hematite earrings. Not for me, but they're cute. Little hematite domes. A couple more silver if you're here for that. Hang on, turn around. I can't remember the way there's a name for this where they take the bits of turquoise and stone and like crush it up and put it in there like that. I can't remember the name of that, but if you know, remind me. If not, I'll ask in the group. So it's marked Mexico alpaca. Like so. I thought they were pretty earrings. Okay. And those were either 50 cents or a dollar. Then a couple more. And I these ones I think are sodalite. If you guys know differently, I'm trying to get out of the glare. They have this blue. Blue and white, I think they're soda light. Tell me what you think. Crush, ha ha ha. Always a comedian. <laughs> okay, so there were those. Then another pair I got were these awesome leaves. There's a wasp. Those are nice. Where's my magnet? <laughs> they are not magnetic. Okay. <laughs> and then finally, I got my eye on you. It's that time of year where the lady wasps are going around looking for where to make a nest. These ones, like so. And I, I thought these were magnetic. <laughs> uh, let me grab my loop and just take a peek at them real quick. Dun, 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 dun. I'm looking, but I don't see any kind of marks. Nope. Oh. Anyway, still pretty. Your sister would get my no. My sister would not try to catch it. <laughs> you know, for my sister's a beekeeper. If you guys don't know, and she's allergic to bees, so when she gets stung, she'll send me pictures, and her like mouth is like swollen out this this big, um, <laughs> or whatever. I don't know. Anyway, okay. So that was it. Let me know again later in the chat or in the comments. What is something that you can't leave behind? when you're at thrift, thrift stores or garage sales or wherever. For me, it's rocks and fossils. And tell me what you think about Penelope von Schnitzel, Schnitzel Ritzel's new ring. I know, I need an aperitif before we go out to the opera. Um, that's just me. I don't know why I said we. I'm going alone because apparently my voice is really annoying. And nobody wants to go, and then they get upset because Penelope, I can't, they can just call me Penelope, but I insist that they call me by my full name. What's wrong with that? I said, don't call me Penelope. You have to call me Penelope Bone Schnitzel Ritzel. I can't even remember the whole name. <laughs> because why? My mom named me that, so let's just call me that. Penelope Von Schnitzel Ritzel. What the see. <laughs> no, no, there, there is not. There's no, um, no maker's mark or anything on that. 
gorgeous. <laughs> oh, Ed, you weren't here before for Penelope von Schnitzelwitzel? <laughs> Try saying that after a few. And you have to use this voice because she's a very, very half a Luton. Penelope von Schnitzelwitzel with a C. <laughs> okay, guys. Uh, lock, yeah, okay. You need one on every finger, Unicorn Hessler says. No, oh, you missed it then, Ads. Okay, you'll have to rewind it. That's why I said, Adam, you like you like the sillies. <laughs> if you don't, if you guys aren't aren't subscribed to ads, go go subscribe to ads. If you like the sillies, sometimes ads get silly too. So <laughs> I think that's I think I got everything for you guys. <laughs> so tell me what your favorite item was. Tell me what you can't leave behind. What's my yeah, my store name is Texas Gal Treasures, just like here and on eBay. But my stores are on vacation right now because we're moving, and I it was just too stressful. I get too silly. Ed says, "Is there ever such a thing? You only live once. This is my thing. I mean, I and I talked a little bit about this in my. I did a ride along today where like some people take themselves way too seriously, and I know we all go through stressy, stressy times and stuff. But there are some people that just like can't laugh at themselves, and that's it's a problem and I'm here to remedy it. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, so definitely try to have some fun at your own expense. Can't leave behind jewelry or beads, Kaylee says. Okay. <sighs> Closinay on the earrings. Is that right? They don't look closinay to me. That's not what I would have, but maybe that's another form of closinay. You mean the, where'd they go? I mean, is that another form of closinay? Maybe. Because that's not really what I, yeah. Okay, what's expiring soon? Uh, okay, I don't know. Okay, so go down there, guys, and leave a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Let me know. And if you're still around, you know, go over there if you're interested in homeschooly stuff. Or I'm going to be posting other stuff over there, too. I'm trying to get more ramped up with my homeschool channel. It used to be Texas Gal Homeschools. But I figured I was going to change it to homeschool, honey, because it's more alliterative. <laughs> so there we go. All right. I will uh, talk to you guys later. And have a great day, everybody. Thanks for coming to hang out. I appreciate it. Bye.